So I was trying to put together another commercial for uh, the little intro things. The little intro videos are just to amuse myself and get used to telling tiny little compressed stories. So it actually does kind of fit under the broader theme of my channel. And I had Chris come in yesterday and he recorded something I wrote and I was sitting there trying to put images with it last night and, and it just didn't, it wasn't working. And then I realized what I had to do. I actually have, gonna have to film some stuff. I'm gonna get him back and try to actually do some filming of a clip to go over the, the, the voiceover. But it got me thinking that one of the skills that I think you develop that's really important is knowing what isn't working and not settling for something like the third or fourth thing that isn't working, whether it's a pose or a story idea or putting together a video and just you're trying to go for something even just slightly humorous. But there is definitely a point in your skill set where or you develop the skill that you know this isn't quite what I'm looking for, even if you don't know what you're looking for. You kind of know the feel, but knowing that this just isn't working and being honest with yourself and then just continuing the search for whatever it is. And more often than not, when you get to the point, at least in my experience, where something isn't working and you go to the next thing and it doesn't work and the next thing, and you just have to give it some thought, which kind of goes back to the whole thing yesterday with put your phone away and have some time to think. Um, but you, you, you eventually are going to stumble across what does work. <clears throat> and that's part of the fun part. That's one of the things I like about, uh, for example, with the videos that are just to amuse me, like I don't plan them out. I just kind of do it as I, for the most part, I don't plan it out, except when I get to that point that it isn't working and I got to think about it. But it's not like things are fully formed at the end, right? You, the initial idea is, boom, this is what it is. And you just going to go through a recipe. Right? A lot of it is your one thing leads to another in a new direction. That's kind of how storytelling works. And then you, your job is to wrangle all that down uh, into some form of beginning, middle, end, taking all those surprises. So part of that is learning what uh, doesn't work and not trying to force things that doesn't work. And I was, um, I think the more, the more, the bigger the group of a project, this is why group projects, I think, um, now that I think about it, are horrible. And the more cooks you have in the kitchen of a project with equal weight of um, input, is that not everybody really understands when something doesn't work. And it's not really something you can teach, but as a creator, uh, I guess the best, and these, these are things I'm still kind of working out for myself, but I think it's one of those skills that you develop over time that's kind of a sense. Even if you can't articulate it, you know it's not gonna be funny, it's not gonna be effective. And the, the danger is trying to force it or settle without just pushing ahead one more time and then one more time putting it aside for a little bit, coming back. Uh, one of the good ways I, I found that um, ideas come a lot of times when I'm not at the desk too. So uh, back when I was running a lot, running is a long distance, slow running where you're just kind of getting the miles, you got music going, your mind starts to wander. Those were perfect times for coming up with ideas. Uh, you got your blood flowing and you know, you're just in a different, different frame of mind. Just, or just going for a walk or doing another task that's not mentally taxing, uh, whether it's mowing the lawn or whatever. But I, I found that exercising helps if it's not like very technical minded, but it's kind of anything that gets you moving, uh, creating those spaces to where your mind can wander during certain physical activities. Uh, that That's one thing I found that really, really does help. So, uh, and that's kind of a secondary, secondary tip, but uh, it, it's one of those things I was thinking about just as I'm trying to, um, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing this is because when I talk about it out loud, it helps me refine it a bit, but I, it just occurred to me just in the whole process of that, that it is a skill to know when something, to say no, okay, this is, and even, and then 
the, so the there's perfectionism which kills projects because you're never it's never going to be perfect what you need to develop is the sense of this works even if it's not perfect it works uh, <clears throat> but if you're constantly looking for the better idea which is per what perfectionism does and chasing this thing you'll never create anything so learn what doesn't work learn when this works even if it's not perfect and then avoid uh perfectionism and create those spaces where you can think about what works and stuff and away from your desk so that's kind of where i'm at today um it's thursday did i say that beginning or did i say it's friday i don't even remember what i said at the beginning of this video it is thursday that i know uh tonight 9 p.m my channel as far as i know elliot has, has not said otherwise we'll be doing pair o normals um join in make sure you're subscribed uh hit the bell for notifications like the smash the like button down there and share this video out if, if you're enjoying the content uh, i mean i can only do so much um as far as promotion myself it's a uh, promotion is always a, a group effort so if you're enjoying the stuff spread it around doesn't cost you anything and uh, I will see you all probably tomorrow. Uh, I've got some family stuff uh, tomorrow. Um, but uh, I will hopefully see you all tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's God's own time zone. Not Pacific. That's Satan's time zone. Eastern. That's questionable theology. But it's true. <laughs>